Hey there guys, Clandor here, and today I am going to be unboxing Batman Arkham Knight Collector's Edition, and I loved the first two games, and I cannot wait. Oh, this is just so nice, I'm revealing who the Batman is. And now that the, the, the mask has lifted, the true Batman is me, because I'm Batman. Everybody knows it. I'm Batman. And, you know, I have undeniable proof that I am awesome and amazing because I'm Batman. And it's right here. 100% undeniable proof that I'm Batman. Also, my voice because this is the voice of Batman. And now I'm going to do the entire unboxing with this voice just to annoy everybody. Ha ha ha. Except I'm not because I'm not an evil villain like the Joker. If I was the Joker, then I would totally do it. If I had Mark Hamill's sweet, luscious tones, I would totally do the entire unboxing as the Joker, but I don't. And so yeah, this is the box. Uh, it's got some texture on it, which is uh, interesting. It, uh, it's very kind of plain, though. It's not my favorite box, and I, I don't get this. I'm not... The, I'm not the hugest Batman fan, and also I'm not the smartest person ever, so we're not Batman, so it's okay. But uh, uh, I don't know if that means anything. MMXV from a grateful city in memory of Gotham Knight. I don't know, maybe this is like a reference to something in the game or something. So, you know, I'll just have to play it and find out. And this is the box cover thing that came on it I'll probably leave this on it because you know it takes more space and you know I like how that looks more than how I like this looks so let's just open it right up you know that's the first thing that I love to see is warning fragile <laughs> remove product carefully that's the first thing that I love to hear Especially when I've just been sh been shaking it around a lot. Warning! <laughs> this video sucks and you should not watch. But bam! Well, bam! There we have it. We have the game case with the game. It's kind of obvious what's in here. Beat the Batman! I'm Batman! Ah! I'm Batman! So that's just gonna be a thing from now on. Whenever something happens, it's gonna be like, I'm Batman! I'm Batman. From now on, it's just gonna be that. You know, they say remove carefully, but I there's no way to remove it carefully. Ah. Okay, that was exhausting but there we have it the collector's edition for some reason with batman collector's editions they're not the best for like accessibility like arkham city it was cool but it was such a pain to just like put everything back together like you open it up and it would just fall apart and it's just like oh now i have to hold all three sides and it's just like Bleh. And this one was impossible to get out, and then, like, you get it out, and it all just fell out. But here we has a very nice steelbook case. And the inside of the case is very inside -y. And look at that. Oh, see? See, that's me underneath this shirt. Super sexy. I'm Batman. And here we has uh, an Arkham Knight, uh, was number zero comic book. Which is a lot smaller and flimsier than I thought it would be. It's like, this is, I feel like this is a comic that you would get on free comic book, like the free comic book day, like the size of it is kind of a little bit of letdown. Like the artwork's very nice and stuff. I haven't read it, but I'm sure the story's pretty nifty and it'll get me like into the action of the game, but it's still very, very small and flimsy, but uh, and then that's cool, I guess. It's more like it's more like a comic pamphlet than a comic book, though. And here we has the bat, bat bat logo. I'm Batman. It, it's the bat logo. It's 
Spoilers! I haven't played the game yet and it's already telling me that Batman died. Wow. It's a great game. But yeah, here we just has a uh, art book. I'm, it's, yeah, it's just an art book of stuff. I don't, I'm not gonna look at it yet because, you know, they usually have spoilers. This thing will not shut up. Shut up. I'm Batman. Oh, God. Oh, that is such an annoying sound. So sorry, everyone. Oh, but would you smell that? I'm Batman. So yeah, here we have the... The, the French word for... Piece de la resistance. That, is that French? Maybe, I don't know. Something. It's, it's a word in another language. And here we has it. The statue. It's a pretty cool statue. Um, but I thought it had color on it when I looked at the preview stuff. I don't know. I thought, that maybe not, but I thought it had more color on it than, than what this has. I get the Batman's, like, a dark anti, well, not anti-hero, hero, a dark hero sort of thing. But if this, this is a tad dark just in the color, like, even the first Gears of War had more color than this. But, uh, it's, it looks cool, though. It's awesome. It's got nice little detail and stuff in it. It's Batman! But, yeah, uh, it's no color, which I find oddly strange. But, hey, I, oh. Oh, I can't even look at the bat butt. There's there's no bat butt to be found. I can't look at that booty. I'm Batman. No no bat booty. So that's something. But but man, he's got something going on in his crotchular region. I'm Batman. I'm just gonna move on now. After that, they put in the manual upside down. Rude much. But it's a great manual. So much information. And uh, this is the last stuff that comes with the uh, uh, Collector's Edition. It is a Harley Quinn pack, which lets you play as Harley Quinn, kind of like the other DLC in the um, uh, Arkham City. And this is the new 52 Skins pack, which uh, comes with three exclusive costumes. It looks like there's a Batman, a uh, Robin, and a Nightwing, or two Robins. I don't know. Isn't Robin Nightwing or something? Ah. But they both look like Robins. I, I don't know. I don't keep up on 52 at, lately. I'd, I'd like to read as much comics, but I just game too much. But uh, that, that's what Arkham Knight's for. It gets my comic on and my game on. It's perfect. But yeah, these are the other last two other things that come with it. And, you know, I'm just going to put this big boy right there. Just... Yeah, what? I'm just rubbing my Batman. You know, cleaning him all up, making him all shiny and polished. Don't make it weird. <laughs> but yeah, this is the Batman Arkham Knight unboxing. And I give this collector's edition a 6 Dark Knight Rises out of 10. Now, I give it this score because it's a cool collector's edition. And, and with, like, Dark Knight Rises... You just you're expecting it to be something so cool and so amazing, but some things were let down, and you're just like, oh, well, what you got is still cool, but you're just expecting so much more, and that's why it gets a six Dark Knight Rises out of ten. Uh, I like this stuff. The statue's cool. Up. I just want it to be more colorful. I want the comic book to be bigger. Um, I haven't checked out the art book yet, so. I can't really say anything about that. The DLC is a little lackluster. Like, you get three exclusive skins for the one. Playing as Harley Quinn's pretty, will probably be pretty cool, though. That's pretty cool. But, uh, normally you'd expect, like, a season pass, which gives you everything. And this thing doesn't have a season pass. Uh, th the box that has it is kind of disappointing. It it's nothing that I'd really show off. It's just... A plain box with a Gotham Knight on it. It's black with like some texture on it. A other than that, it's nothing. I will say though, this steel bookcase is one of the best I've seen. It's shiny. It's got cool stuff on it. It's got abs. Oh, I'm gonna love staring at that all day. 
which oh, where, well, that's the sellout. That's the that's the cool thing in the box, which is kind of sad. Like I I love my steel book cases, but you you expect that the statue or something is going to be the standout item, and and while it's cool, it's a little disappointing to me because there's no color on it. I don't know. It just it just really bugs me. But uh, that's just uh, personal preference, maybe. I don't know. Now, granted, for the price range, from what I remember, all this is a pretty good price. I was just expecting more than what I thought I was getting. I still maybe I I, I might be a little harsh because I'm a tad disappointed right now. But right now, I'm giving it a six Dark Knight Rises out of ten, and that's my final verdict. I've explained it all. You know why, but uh, I, I still like the uh, collector's edition. I'm glad I have it. It's cool. I just don't know how much I'll show it off. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the unboxing. Click right here on the True Batman to watch me actual play, actually play the game when I upload it. Anyways, as always, stay classy. <laughs> It, it lights up.